Angela Lyden. I'm the National Development Officer for MATP, Special Olympics MATP. And this morning, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I would like to just show you some ideas for the sort of stuff you can do at home with stuff from home um, for fine manipulation, dexterity, hitting, um, striking and kicking. So first of all, I'm going to talk about just the, the fine finger stuff. Really getting individuals' fingers going. Um, even if they're just sitting in the wheelchair, they might not be have anybody working with you. Um, so just some ideas for that, really. Um, tactile things and sensory things are a really good way of getting people's fine manipulation going. Um, but most of the things I have here, for all the things I have here, probably will be lying around your house or very, very easy to pick up from somewhere like Amazon. Um, one of the things that I have here is cellophane sheets. Very nice and crunchy, very, very good for getting those fingers going. Um, um, that you can pick up online. Um, survival blankets. These are um, the sort of things that you get given out at the end of a race. You might have them lying around in a goodie bag if, you, if you've done a, a half marathon or a 10k or something. So of course you can just pick them up online. Um, these ones are gold on one side and silver on the other. Very, 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 very good for so lots of crunching and fine manipulation work. Um, the other thing that we can have um, to really get fingers going, this is a mop head cover, stick it through the washing machine, nice and fluffy, lots of really, really individual little bits on it that are really nice to get your fingers in and get, get wriggling. Um, plastic cups, you can do all sorts of plastic cups, you might have some sitting in the cupboard from when you had, last time you had a party. Um, one thing is they're just really satisfying to scrunch up, just be careful because they can have some sharp edges on them, but if you do snap them into bits like this and then you just snap them all the way around then you turn them upside down and make a very nice bouncy thing that you might want to bat around the table. Now once you when you're looking at your fine manipulation stuff you'd also be looking at holding on to things, grasp and release and obviously for a lot of our athletes, grasp and release is, is quite difficult so they need motivating to do it and they need different things, different textures that would encourage them to hold on. So first of all you want obviously holding on and keeping hold. So I've got a number of things here, obviously you can um, you can tape up your cellophane into a ball and um, you've got bubble wrap which you can just sellotape into strips to give you some holding on. Um, my daughter is a bit of a craft wizard so we've got pom-poms, which are very easy to make with a ball of wool and a couple of circles of cardboard. Um, different textures of pom-poms that you can use um, with different wool. Um, they can be very, in place of bean bags particularly, if you're wanting to just grasp and release, grasp, move, let go. Um, they're very good for those simple acts. This is um, a Frère Rocher gift thing from, from Christmas, um, which can open up. Um, if you're worried about it breaking up, you can just tape it up so it doesn't come open. But you can also you can open it up, fill it with rice, and you have a very nice sensory ball that you can use for maintenance of plastic shaking, or it's just something interesting when you throw it. If you throw it and it cracks open, there's rice all over the floor, and that's hilarious. Also good. And the other thing I have dived into my children's bedrooms for LOL doll balls, those LOL dolls that have been driving us all bananas for ages. You can actually make good use of the balls and you can do the same thing. You can put rice in or you can put pasta or um, sweet, dry sweet corn kernels, anything that just makes a nice noise and is nice and rattly. Um, so if we moving on then and we're looking at kicking and striking. Um, one of the best things for kicking and striking is being able to knock things down. Um, now obviously in, in schools and centres you will see people using plastic skittles because they make an amazing noise when they go down. That's what you're really, really after, that amazing noise. But I think you'll find that also these make an amazing noise when you knock them over. So using these instead of skittles, cans, any sorts of can, any can at all that will make a lovely noise on a hard surface, fantastic. So to begin with, let's just listen to that noise, shall we? Fantastic. 
So, can we do some striking where they're just knocking them over? Um, if you want to do some striking using um, things that you can hold, um, then don't get in a pickle about bats and rackets and things like that. There's loads of things at home. At the end of the day, a racket or a bat is just an extension of your hand. It's just something to hold on, to keep hold of, to hit something with. So, I've been out in my garage and in the garden and um, spades would do the trick, although you don't want to get back from the head. Um, so we've got little spades, we've got the bigger ones, you could use spatulas, you can use spoons, anything at all. And to get your athletes at home striking and moving their arms. So they could, like I just did then, just knock hands straight down. Um, if you want to be hitting balls at things, um, potentially, obviously, if you've got somebody who's a wheelchair user, they can sit in their tray. They can sit at a table and knock things off the table. If you want things a little bit higher, um, I've just made a really, really simple batting tee. So we've got a plastic cup in the top, cell type to a cardboard box, and you can balance your ball on that. And if, so if you need it a little bit higher, and then you can just knock it off there. Okay, so that, that's an improvised batting tee for you. You can also use boxes like that to hire things up for kicking. If um, you want your athletes to be able to kick things when they're sitting, and um, if they're in a wheelchair, obviously the feet are going to be that little bit higher up. So there's lots of different cardboard boxes. If you're doing a lot of online shopping like we are at the moment, you potentially have these lying around um, and you can balance things on those. Um, you may also have one of these in your garage for any other children or people in the house to climb up on. Also good kicking tees. You can get obviously there's different heights. Um, so you can use those, stack them up for knocking stuff off the top of, kicking things. Um, and what you're actually kicking, if you wanted something with a little bit of weight, a cabbage would do the trick. It rolls. If you're not too precious about cabbages and we're not too terribly short, that would be a good thing to kick off a block. And also all of these things, all the kicking, striking, lifting, throwing, you can all do it at stacks of cans or into anything else that makes a noise, just give that little bit of extra feedback. Um, the other thing I've managed to, um, some flaps of a cardboard box and a bit of Gorilla Tape and you have yourself your own botcher ramp. Um, so if you wanted to, if you were wanting to not skittle down on the floor um, and you would like somebody to be able to use a ramp, then you can use this cardboard botcher ramp. I'm not sure if it'll hold the cabbage, but here we go. So obviously, grasp, place, release. And it goes, you have your very own ram. And um, really was just some blunts of cardboard stuck together with gorilla tape. And um, the other thing that you might want to use if you if you're in need of a ramp, if you have something like this, which is basically a um, a tube that we have some vinyl delivered in that we kept hold of. And um, you can put things, open things down through tubes like that. And um, the other thing, if you're wanting to do some reaching up and get hands moving, balloons always excellent for that are balloons. Obviously just the tapping, putting them on a string, hitting them out of the way. Um, you can make your balloon a little bit more interesting. I've got a balloon here that I would sellotape to survive a blanket around the outside of. So it's crunchy and it's interesting and also it falls a bit quicker. So it behaves a little bit more like a ball than your average balloon does. And um, you can sellotape all sorts of things around, around balloons and balls. Um, and then if you're looking to, well, just one final, um, dexterity thing, obviously, bubble wrap. You can never underestimate the joy of bubble wrap. Um, my children have had this, so it's all popped already. Um, but any packaging, anything like that, anything scrunchy, shredded cardboard, paper, things like that, anything that you think your athletes would be interested in to just get between their fingers and pop and scrunch, that would be fantastic. Um, I'm hoping to get together another video with some, maybe with some mobility ideas. So um, I hope you. Thanks for these ideas useful and I'll say bye.